I started off by cleaning the piece with solvent and thoroughly drying it out so it doesn't dilute the bluing solution. I'm using a suitably acid proof surface. I've gone for an old plate because it's a small part, but you could use a plastic container too. For the barrel, I just used a rubble bag due to the size of it and that, that also worked fine. What I will say is the swabs they provide only work for one sitting. So that's one batch of whatever you want to blue and the more they use, the less effective they will be. They sort of become a little bit crusty. If you try and use them for a second batch, they will not work for, for some reason. So either have spares before you start or try and have no more than three batches ready if you've purchased their kit that comes with three swabs. Just because the blue is on the surface doesn't mean that it's actually had an effect. So make sure you do wipe every surface with the swab to get the best results. I found that if it feels like there is some resistance while you're wiping it down, then, then the bluing solution is actually having, having an effect. It also says to use damp, extra fine wool and lightly rub down the surface. I found that it needs to be dripping wet and you can even just use a cloth. The reason for this is the wire wool will, will wipe quite a lot of the finish off. I think this part of the process is mainly just to neutralize the acid with the water. I have seen mentioned on the internet this is to get an even finish but I, I didn't really notice a difference other than feeling like I needed to apply more coats after rubbing it down with a wire wool. I've also had the same luck with two coats as I have with sort of four or five. And I think the main thing that will make a difference is the amount of prep that you do beforehand. I mean, remember 95% of anything like this is in the prep. I tried bluing parts that had no original blue on, so completely bare steel, and parts that had a mix of bare steel and original blue also with with not much difference. I mean, remember this this bluing solution you can use as a touch up. So it says leave it on for 30 seconds to work. And I have found that if you leave it on for any longer than this, it does leave a residue which then dries on the part. So if it starts to turn a, a gray blue color, then wipe it down quite quickly. After some trial and error, I would blue the part, quickly rinse it in water and then wipe it down. Once all the parts on the batch were complete, I would use an airline or even a car tire inflator might work to blow the water off. If you don't have either of these, then you could use a hairdryer, but I'd be careful heating up too much either because you would create a different effect with obviously parts being a different temperature if they'd cooled down for longer or not, or obviously burn yourself. Just remember if you've been handling the part after you've washed it then your hands will be wet too so be sure to dry your hands also after you've finished and the parts are dry you need to leave it overnight soaking in oil i, I just used gun oil for this and the results were great what i did notice though is parts with less oil on did dry out i simply applied another coat and it had no detrimental effect to the finish but just be wary to make sure well oiled if you're leaving them unattended.